So I was asking the Lord, why, Lord, when I start talking to other people that say they believe in the Lord, that I know, I know love the Lord to a degree. They love the Lord. And I tell them, the scripture says this, the scripture says that, I know I've read it. Why are they so defensive? And the Lord said, because they feel competition. That they feel like I'm thinking that I'm better. Because I know what's written in the word. And my thing is, is I'm not telling you it's written in the Lord because I feel so superior because I've read the Bible more. No. It's like your friend coming to you and saying, Hey, Emily just gave me a love letter that she wrote to you. <laughs> and you love her so much, right? But usually, most people that are in love, they would snatch that love letter right out of their hand and they would read it, right? They wouldn't just sit by and say, okay, go ahead, read, read Emily's love letter to me. No, you, that's personal. You'd want to read that yourself. You wouldn't want your buddy just sitting there reading it to you. For one, your buddy might get jealous, which is what's happening. People are getting jealous. They're getting very competitive over the love letter of God and what they've read in it. But we need not to get jealous and competitive. We need to understand that when a brother or sister says, look, it is written here. It is written there in the Bible. Read it for yourself. Now, most of the time, it's not a competitive stance. And if it is, you shouldn't be that way. But most of the time, at least for me, when I'm saying it's written here, it's written there, read it for yourself. I'm not saying that to be like, oh, I'm better because I know. No, it's you're missing out. Because... Sure, you love Emily, but are you really, are you willing to read it, that love letter for yourself? Or are you going to just let your buddy Brian read it to you? Of course not. You love Emily. You'd read that, you'd read that love letter, wouldn't you, for yourself? But why today, the very love letter, the Bible, We're willing to let pastors, priests, brothers and sisters read it to us and not read it together or for ourselves. This is a love letter from the creator of the universe. I'm not saying you don't love Emily. I'm just saying, wouldn't you want to read her love letter personally? The same way that you love the creator of the universe's love letter? Because it's more personal that way. And I'm telling you, the love that you feel for the Lord now relationship that you have with the Lord now can only go so far without this. You don't have this. You're missing out on an enormous amount of love and growth 
in your relationship with the Lord. When you allow Brian to read it to you instead of snatching it out of his hand and reading it for yourself. You would think that if you really love someone, you would read that note for yourself. Why is that not the same for the Bible? So don't get mad at me when I tell you it is written. Don't get competitive with me when I tell you it is written. Read it for yourself. I'm telling you, read it for yourself. Because I'm not trying to be competitive. I'm trying to tell you you're missing out. An amazing, wonderful creator of God who's written you a love letter. He speaks. Not only in our personal lives by signs and wonders and other ways, but he speaks through his word supernaturally. And if you want a closer relationship with the Lord, which you should if you're a Christian, then read it. Read it for yourself. Read it for what it says, not for what you want it to say, but for what it really, really says. You'll start to see miraculous things. You'll actually start to hear God. And I want that for every single one of you. So don't just believe what a person says, a pastor or a priest. I love you enough to tell you the truth. And not only that, to want you to read God's love letter for what it is. And to let your love for Jesus shine even brighter. God bless you all. I hope this message edifies you. Take care.